Hello everyone, uh, my name's Nicola Gitcham and I'm from the Preparing for Adulthood programme which is supporting uh, Pathfinders and other, area, other areas around the country to look at the proposals in the Green Paper um, and to test out some of the more radical bits of the reform. Um, we wanted to send you a personal message. Linda and I are really sorry that we can't be with you today. Um, many of you will be aware that the draft legislation is out. Um, and we're working very hard to try and get key messages across around what will help young people move into adulthood with better life outcomes and also help young people and families have better experience of transition. So we're really busy, we're having to do quite a lot of writing at the moment um, and we are travelling a lot so we're sorry we can't be with you but here's a message to you. Um, so I guess what I really wanted to say was, I've just come from the launch event for the Children and Young People's National Personalisation Network. And there were lots of different people around the country there today, with families as well, um, talking about personalisation, how we take this forwards for young people and families and make it a reality. And there was lots of discussions about how do we make this real for people? How do we make sure we're not just using the word? How do we make sure we're not just talking about direct payments? Um, but really, how do we help young people, children, young people and their families really have choice and control over their lives and equal life chances? You know, what's it going to take? And what do we need to do to make sure that we've got really strong local communities as well as good provision to help people get an ordinary life. So they were some of the discussions today. And that's part of why we are so excited about what you're all doing in Calderdale, because we really think that you are testing some things out. And the approach that you've taken in developing your 0 to 25 education healthcare plan will really start to address what personalization is meant to be and is meant to offer to uh, young people and their families. We're really excited at the approach you've taken of developing this with families. It's very family-led and the organisations that are involved. So really looking at co-production, we think that's fantastic. That's not common across all of the Pathfinder sites. We think you're doing a really amazing job there and um, it will pay dividends. Um, we're also really excited about how you're keeping aspirations for an ordinary life loud and clear. Um, I remember being with you on your stakeholder event, the um, launch, and there were a number of young people from Calderdale that talked about what their vision for uh, a good life would be. And I remember Evie doing some amazing drawings and, um, uh, and uh, pictures about capturing what people were saying. And I was trying to think about some of the young people were saying, I want to get married, I want a wife, I want a girlfriend or a boyfriend, um, I want a job, I don't want to be on benefits, I want to have my own home. Um, I'd like to go on holiday, all sorts of things that people were saying. Um, and I think that's exactly the point of a single plan. It is meant to be a plan that helps people have equal life outcomes and have choice and control over their lives. And so we're really excited with what you're doing with that. We think the design is interesting because you're capturing those life outcomes. And you know, the reality is in transition, the emphasis is often on coordination between agencies and not on everybody focusing on what a good future looks like for that young person and for that family. And we think you've got some really good things going on with support planning of, OK, if that's what somebody wants to achieve, if this is what a good life looks like for them, what can we do as families? What can our local community do? And then what additional provision do we need? Um, so we think that it's really exciting. We're following it with great interest. Um, and our message is keep going because we really feel that it will deliver a better life for young people and families in Calderdale. But we also think it's going to provide invaluable evidence for Pathfinder evidence for the new legislation. And this is a really critical um, time to capture those stories about what sort of processes, systems, investments really lead to people having choice of control over their lives and better life outcomes. So, so we think you're going to provide really rich material for those uh, ministers that are going to have to consider that bill and, and think about um, what's in the draft regulations legislation at the moment. Okay, 
So, uh, so then we just had a couple of messages of possible next steps or, or potential challenges, which is always easier to do when you're the other side of a camera. So you can invite us up and, and make sure that we help you do this or get us to put um, action where our challenge is. But I guess the challenge to you is, is great if we've got great single planning and it's been developed with young people and their families, I guess the big question is, what next? So what? You know. So how does this really lead to developing better provision locally? How how will it help you strengthen communities? Which I think you've really done some really interesting stuff around already. But what can, more can be done? But what does it mean? How will it help you change what is funded and commissioned and developed for post sixteen options for young people, so that they achieve the, those goals that they talked about on that first stakeholder event? How will it help them get paid employment? How will it help them choose who they're going to live with? How will it help them get better housing options? All of those sorts of things. How, how does the market, if you like, or what happens, what's on offer in Calder Doyle, um, going to be developed to help people really um, not just have the vision, but also the provision? So we think that's probably um, something that you, we're sure you're thinking about already. And, um, and also, what's the potential of um, personal budgets in helping you deliver that? With, we've, we know that personalisation is much bigger than personal budgets, um, but is there anything we can do to help with the thinking around how could personal budgets for social care, for education, or for health really help you develop much more flexible supports and personalised pathways into getting a life? So, um, they're things that um, we, we know will follow on from the work you're doing and we're very keen to work with you to help you develop those things. So, um, really pleased that Liz is there from Preparing for Adulthood today. Um, we know Liz is local, but we're also really glad she's working for the PFA team. So, um, uh, you know, that's fantastic and we've been, um, we love the blogs of how, how it's all going and putting that on the website. And just finally to say, well done, keep going, and um, please invite us up. We'd love to help with um, the next steps of what it will take to really make sure that that local provision's in place to help people have the lives that they're talking about in their plans and that they spoke about on the first stakeholder day. So I hope you have a great day, and um, we look forward to coming up again soon. Thank you.